Hey everyone, welcome to Alchemy Star. So we're going to be doing a preview of the new Aurorian skills. So we're starting off with Reinhardt. So as you see here, she is going to be Lightning and um, a Sniper class. So a lot of people actually have been wondering what she is. And now we have her. Plus she has 3,503 attack, which is actually kind of high. Um, we're glad to have that. Let's move on to her skills. So, Illuminated Finale, cooldown is 3. But it's a preemptive strike. So, you don't necessarily need to get copies of her initially. So, let's see what this does. Selects any 4 tiles. Summons air. Raid beacons that last for 2 rounds. Okay, that's a uh, big damage. Then, enters... Finality state for two rounds. Okay, so while in the finality state, normal attacks extend to diagonal tiles. That's one. That's an additional um, ability. Meanwhile, combo skill deals an additional half of the current damage to the tile where the air ra raid beacon is located and the four surrounding tiles. So if this is going to be applicable to any combo damage aside from from her this is going to be very good because once she applies the air raid beacon um a damage of everyone is going to be applied to this one okay so then when the dealing damage multiple times to some tile, each of the following final damage is reduced by 20%. So gains an additional 5 finale regardless of the limit while in a free, uh, finality state. Okay, next is um, the uh, chain combo, burst of illumination. Uh, three minimum three chain combos deals 140 damage to three nearest enemies with three surrounding clusters it expands to nine and four four nearest enemies within four surrounding clusters but the 14 chain is going to be deal big damage at 160 to all enemies within the surra four surrounding clusters so she's kind of a mix of a sniper plus again uh, with AOE damage, so not really detonator. I was uh, supposed to say detonator, but she is she is a sniper with not only single target damage, but with multiple target damages. Okay, last is her equipment. Power of uh, Lumina gains finale. Each finale increases attack by three percent. Okay, so additional buff to everyone. Thunder or Illumina Federation Aurorians get 50% finale bonus based on their attack. So the others will get 50% only based on their attack. And what finale is? Gain one point of the end of the round up to 20 points while in the finality state gains an additional 5 finale. Regardless of the limit, additional gain points will be cleared when the finality state is over. So overall, what I see with her kit, she's going to be... So far, she's going to be the best sniper for Thunder. Um, there's nobody going to be rivaling her based on her kit. And um, I don't think she's OP. I don't think she's, she's OP at this point. So um, we'll have to do a test on her whether she's going to be op um moving forward so next is going to be barton barton as you can see here has a element change so you guys are not dreaming he is now under forest class forest and his class is detonator okay attack is 3563 which is also high so again for those who are you know are frustrated with this we don't have a choice this is the direction of the developers to change him to forest class so um i forgot no, no, no. it's not i forgot to mention um for this one just in case um he's a detonator and but he has to he has a lot of competition here in terms of that slot 
So first and foremost, we have Hero. Secondly, he can, I think, compete in the second slot for damage with Arya, with um, the new one is Lenore, and um, the other one is Yao. So I think he can compete for that slot for the second one or even the first let's let's try to see his skills so active skill is uh, dual blade advent consumes 20 lone energy to enter lone state in the current round increasing chain combo range and damage so this is a buff for him at the end of the round if the remaining lone energy at the end of the round is no less than 10 lone energy will be halved reducing at least 10 points and retain loan state in the next round. Loan energy when entering battle gains 20 points. Um, Barton um, uh, I can't see Deft Blades. I was actually just looking at if this is an I or a T. Deft Blades gain 1 point for every normal attack and gains immediate and 5 points immediately after using the active skill to enter the loan state. I just want to go back to here, um, active skill. It's not a preemptive strike. So you'll have to get copies of him, obviously, to more or less make him, you know, to give him more potential in terms of, um, in terms of uh, activating the buff to him, especially if you want to deal damage early on. So going to his chain combo, Panther's Prowl. So it's a Panther that he has. So... 2 chain normal state gains 2 lone energy and deals 160 damage to one surrounding cluster. This goes up to 8 and 13 and the damage also goes up um, uh, even if uh, not in the lone state but gains also increased lone energy. Lone energy is from 170, 190 to 210. So um, again, uh, the active skill buff. I think he can really rival Arya with this active skill. So moving on to Solitary Courage. Normal attacks can target enemies in a diagonal file. Diag diagonal tile. While in lone state, normal attacks deal damage to one surrounding cluster. Non-target tiles receive 40% of normal damage. So this increases his um, AoE damage splash damage and receives a percentage of the normal damage so he is going to be good for mobs multi-tiled bosses and he could really rival Arya for that second um, detonator spot for um forest so let's move on to vice so vice keen sight so she is retained with water she is she is a sniper still and uh, attack is 3449 which is decent enough um because she's <laughs> she's free so i won't complain about that so active skill target secured a uh, cooldown is one it's a preemptive strike so no need for copies of her to have preemptive strike selects and locks to one enemy and there can only be a maximum one target being locked at a time while the locked while the locked on target lives Vice skin side chain combo will always target it. So chain combo damage will target um, that locked enemy. If the selected enemy is already locked on, deals 100 damage to it once instead. Okay, every stack of timeless mark on the target is increased increased damage by 5% addition. So there is a mark to be put on. Chain damage is one chain one chain damage deals 100 damage once to the nearest enemy for every three consecutive tiles and don't know yet uh what this means uh but i think for every three consecutive tiles she's going to deal one chain combo damage uh probably the damage is not affected by the number of connected tiles hmm interesting number of times a chain combo attack will always be one Okay, so this will I just have to see. This is the first time I've seen this. And the equipment skill, Timeless Insignia inflicts Timeless Mark on the lock target. Every stack of Timeless Mark increases the damage again. Deals to the target by 2%. Vice Keen Sight applies one additional stack of Timeless Mark on the locked on target for every 3% damage it, de it deals to allies. Okay. 
So Talon's Mark inflicts one stack every time when deals damage to a locked on target up to 99 stacks. Stacks are cleared after locking on another target. So this kit here, her new kit is basically focused on one target before it was um, random damages. But this one is specifically for one target with one tile. So I think she's going to be good with single tile bosses. And that is it. So bo all three of them, Vice, you have Barton, you have Reinhardt, I think are good. Um, even even Vice because, you know, she's free. These two, Reinhardt, she can be a good complement to your existing team. Definitely for mine because I'm looking for a good sniper for Thunder. And uh, for Barton, if you have a detonator and if you don't want to expand, um, I don't think he you will need him at this point unless if we deem him op or he can substitute aria for that second slot for um detonator but definitely all these three are going to be good so just take your pick i'd go with reinhardt for mine and uh, i'll see you guys on the first anniversary of alchemy star so thank you very much for staying this far so Hopefully, I have shed light on their kits with my reviews. And if you have comments, please put them down. We'll discuss. And thank you, guys. Stay safe. Take care. This is The Warden, and I'm out of here.